tonight the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical condition. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. Toughness is overcoming fear, doubts, and bad habits to reach your goal. Toughness is always having your priorities in line while avoiding tempting distractions. Off the back end by Smith, doesn't go. Right the offensive board, turns, and denied by Kaiser. Toughness is allowing your mind to push your body to new limits. Toughness is constantly developing your mind and body, always striving for improvement. I think toughness is a mental thing, it's, a, it's an ethos, a, a mindset. And you can be tough and incredibly nice at the same time, they're not mutually exclusive, but I think the, the toughest people, you know, just taking it to a basketball context as a player, the toughest players are the ones that do their job, they concentrate, they're fully prepared, and they're great teammates. They, they, they make their teammates' job easier and they make their opponent's job harder. They, they're, they're hard to play against and they're easy to play with. Toughness is having morals and standards with how I treat others, especially women. Tough guys are hard to play against and easy to play with. They quickly learn from their mistakes, own up to them, and move on to the next play. They are the best teammates. Tough guys are always focused and alert. They take care of the basketball and take great shots. They play with physicality and they box out and rebound on every play. Toughness is being on time for class and focus every day regardless how you feel. Toughness is making no excuse in life, knowing that I control my own future. Tough guys are the most consistent guys. They come to work every day. They never pout or whine. They always display strong body language. They are the most coachable, easiest for their teammates to communicate with, and always look people in the eye. One can talk trash, but not everybody is really tough. Many show fake toughness and show false bravado, but that doesn't display real toughness. Real toughness is displayed through consistent actions. Real toughness is learned and practice skill and always can be improved. In fact, that's one of the things that Coach K said in the book was that we're not born tough. It's something that you're conditioned with. And you have a foundation of toughness uh, often that's, uh, that's built by your family. But I think when you get into situations, whether any kind of situation, whether it's in a business context with your business unit or your team, uh, toughness is a contagious thing. You learn from the people around you. you. You have people that push you. Nobody's tough alone, essentially. You have, you have people who push you to do more and, and to, to push past what you think your boundaries are and your limits are. And I learned a tremendous amount from the guys I played with, uh, a tremendous amount from Coach K. I mean, it, it, playing for him was, a, was like a toughness seminar every day that, that you learned that you know you could be tougher and you were expected to be tougher and then like I said about the contagious thing uh, it, it built upon itself that, that when somebody did something tough it made you want to match it and everybody it really raised everybody's level toughness is doing and saying what is right regardless of who is watching or listening Doctors, CEOs, and soldiers are some of the toughest people in the world. The athletes and teams that can drastically increase their toughness levels have a distinct advantage over the competition.
toughness is and knowing the difference between being hurt and being injured. Toughness is always being engaged in practices, games, and meetings. You know, next play w was a mindset that basketball is such a fast-paced game that whatever happened, positive or negative, you have to move on to the next play right away. In the context of the game, if you had a steal and a dunk, instead of celebrating that, you need to get back. You maybe you have a chance to make a quick steal or do something positive. And it went beyond just what happened in the game. It was really a metaphor for life that whatever happened during the day, uh, you, you got a tough break, you got some bad news, next play, you got to move on from it. And I think golfers call it staying in the moment. And really what it means is concentrate on what you're doing while you're doing it. You have time to analyze things later. But when you're in the moment, you know, concentrate on what's important. And that's always the next play, the next thing. Toughness is understanding at all times that I am more fortunate than others and that basketball is a privilege. Toughness is being loyal to who you are and how you were raised regardless of circumstances. Toughness is taking constructive criticism like a man and being mature enough to be taught and coached. Tough guys take charges, jump to the ball, communicate, sprint the floor, finish plays, set screens, dive on the floor for loose balls, and are the first to help their teammates up when they're down. Tough guys stay in a stance, don't get screened, and they always close out correctly. Tough guys don't get beat off the bounce or give up an offensive rebound. They have too much pride. Tough guys play so hard that they have to ask their coach to take them out. Toughness is Louisiana Tech basketball.